This young mother lives on the other side of a second floor wall to the two sisters who died in an overheated apartment in Forest Park. Courtney Cook would occasionally see one of them on their balcony or taking out the trash, always just in passing. It was a little chit chat here and there. So, you know, when I would leave in the morning, the one would sit on the stairs and eat her oatmeal and I would say, hey, it's almost Friday. And she'd say, yeah, it's almost Friday. It's almost over. The bodies of Teresa and Mary Johnson, who were in their 40s, both with developmental disabilities, were found by a caretaker early Monday. Cook didn't realize they had died or the unusual aspects about it until someone called her at work. It's just it's so odd and just weird. It's, it's kind of, it's, I keep explaining it like it's like a movie. <laughs> like I can't believe this happened so close um, to me. Management at Forest Meadows Apartments has not responded to our questions about how the furnace malfunctioned and how only one unit in the building where the sisters had lived for nine years was affected. Police told us Tuesday they're not sure when the malfunction began. It did not regulate and it did not shut off, so the heat just continued to rise. Questions about why the sisters did not or could not react to the excessive heat may never be known. Police found nothing to indicate tampering or foul play, only a double tragedy to mark this holiday week. Christmas is right around the corner, and I just feel really bad for their family um, because I know that they, they did leave during the holidays. And the physical autopsies have been performed, but the coroner is waiting for additional lab information before making a final finding. A third-party HVAC company police called in to inspect the furnace chose to not comment. John London, WWT News 5. John